Thanks for joining me for another episode of Dread Captures, the shadowy crossroads where unexplained creatures and the paranormal come into the light. Our trail cameras are your eyes in the deepest woods, capturing the elusive Bigfoot, mysterious cryptids, and spine-chilling specters that roam unseen. Here, every photo and video holds a story whispered in hushed tones among those who dare to believe. Subscribe and join our community of the curious and the brave as we unveil the secrets that lurk just beyond the tree line. Okay guys, let's check out this special investigation video. Today, we're taking a look at a unique Bigfoot sighting in the mountains of Colorado. Many of the commenters have had differing opinions on the footage, so let's dive in and explore this mystery together. At the 17 second mark, pay close attention to the left side of your screen. A figure begins to walk towards the edge of the pine trees, curving around the field. This is where it starts to get interesting. Notice how an elk, seemingly aware of the figure, walks away from it, getting closer to the herd. Some viewers wonder why the elk don't run if it's Bigfoot. Known as an elk hunter, it's a good question. At the 33 second mark, let's zoom in. I'll highlight the creature just off to the side of the group of five elk. There, a dark mass near the tree line. It's hard to see, but there's a figure walking. Could it be Bigfoot using a cloaking ability, as some viewers suggested? Now, at 39 seconds, the figure abruptly runs back into the woods. Could a human move that fast in deep snow? Some viewers think it might be a person, maybe even poachers in ghillie suits. But then why aren't the elk more alarmed? Several people pointed out that if it were Bigfoot, the elk would have likely bolted. Yet, here we have elk standing calmly. So, what do you think? Is this a clever hoax? An undiscovered creature or something else entirely? It's fascinating how some people can see it clearly while others can't spot anything unusual. Anyhow, let me know what you guys think. Our next clip shows a Bigfoot investigation near Anchor Mountain. The investigators are camping and exploring Colorado's breathtaking San Juan Mountains. They highlight the region's reputation as a hotspot for Bigfoot sightings, acknowledging that while it may not necessarily be where the most Bigfoot have been seen, it undeniably stands out for the frequency of reported sightings. He goes on to explain their decision to set up cameras and capture time-lapse footage, just in case they happen to catch something. However, what truly captivates their attention are the Bigfoot tracks they stumble upon. They vividly describe an impressive 18-inch long Bigfoot track, providing detailed close-up shots that leave no room for doubt about its substantial size. This is quickly compared with a 10-inch bear track found nearby, and he highlights the key differences between the two. Most notably, and surprising for me, are how much bigger the prints are than the bears. The picturesque landscape and the amount of wild berries discovered add an extra layer of allure, offering viewers a glimpse into the natural habitat shared by both Bigfoot and bears. The narrator points out the intriguing connection between Bigfoot and bear sightings in these overlapping habitats, underlining the significance of this discovery. While that's a nice little story, the ultimate point is that these berries likely provide food for the Bigfoots in the area. So let me know what you think. Are these legit Bigfoot tracks? I'll be checking for more updates on this Bigfoot investigation and news from the Pacific Northwest and Rocky Mountain Sasquatch. They provide an exciting and informative perspective on the mysterious world of Bigfoot, backed by visual evidence. Today, we're diving into an extraordinary Bigfoot sighting on Vancouver Island, shared exclusively with us by Gulf Island Rock. This intriguing footage, captured in August 2013 near Port Renfrew in British Columbia, Canada, promises a rare glimpse into the world of the elusive Bigfoot. Port Renfrew, known as the Tall Tree Capital of Canada, sets the stage for our mysterious encounter. Let's delve into the heart of this enigma. The footage, unedited to preserve authenticity, shows a couple venturing into the forest, crossing a shallow stream, when suddenly, they spot an unusual figure about 100 feet away. Is it a bear or something more extraordinary? The figure appears bipedal, with a unique conical head. 
challenging our understanding of known wildlife. The couple, Wendy and her partner, capture this figure on camera, zooming in to reveal its imposing size and distinct shoulders. Now it's your turn to be the judge. Watch this captivating two-minute clip and share your thoughts. Are we looking at a real Bigfoot sighting, or is there another explanation? This sighting, lost for years, only recently resurfaced, adding to its mystique. Join us in unraveling this mystery. Watch, comment, and let us know if this is a genuine Bigfoot sighting or something else. We're excited to hear your theories. What do you guys think about this here? First of all, this person feels a little too close to this creature, but most importantly, what is it? Let's watch it again. I mean, look at that thing. What the heck? I'm definitely stumped on this one. It has orangutan colored fur and it's seemingly just sitting there. This next video and submission was sent to renowned Bigfoot researcher, Bob Gimlin. I will read the email that was sent in. Hi Bob, my Bigfoot encounter was definitely out of the ordinary. It wasn't just seeing a big creature. I grew up near Missoula, Montana with my dad after my mom left when I was a baby. On my 14th birthday in 1975, I didn't expect much. We were not rich. After school that day, my dad was acting strange. He said I shouldn't go out at night alone and to keep my blinds closed. He first said it was because of a bear, which was odd since we lived near farms, not forests. Then he said it was a drifter, which confused me. We had a meal out, which we jokingly call a second lunch, and my dad said sorry for forgetting my birthday. I thought he was trying to keep my mind off something. He mentioned he saw someone strange on our farm and told me to be careful. I didn't ask any more questions. When we got home, there was a little party for me. It was nice even though the surprise was ruined because we didn't go in through the back where the guests' cars were. I love my mom's family, so I was happy they were there. That evening, dad and granddad talked secretly. We then stayed at my grandparents for three nights. Now, I think it was because of what my dad saw. After a few days, we went home and everything was normal. Two years went by and I almost forgot about the bear or drifter story. Then when I was 15 or 16, the porch light started flickering. I heard the switch clicking, which was weird in our old house. It felt like someone was inside. Then there was a scary laugh from inside the house. I was so scared and hid under my bed. My dad was yelling and shot his gun through the door and went outside. When he came back, he seemed relieved I was okay. Okay. We sat in the living room. He put me in his chair away from any windows and called me by weird nicknames, which he never does. He called the cops. While they were talking, I figured out the intruder had messed with the lights without breaking the window screen, which didn't make sense because the screens were hard to take off from outside. Dad said he saw a hairy arm and a scary face through the door's window and shot at it. He tried to shoot it again outside, but we think it ran away. He thought he hit it, but there was no blood. The police didn't really help. They said to just leave it alone, which made my dad mad. Looking back, it was really strange and scary, especially because there was no proof of what happened. I wonder if your viewers have had any similar experiences. Thanks for listening. Wow. Well, that is quite the story. Obviously, if you have ever had an experience like this, hit us with it in the comments. A man shared a video explaining that a few weeks ago he was flying his drone to get photos of forest scenery. He said he spent an hour or so gathering footage and on his last flyover for the day. He saw something really strange zoom past his drone. It's nearly impossible to see on the first run. Did you see it? He didn't see it until he was reviewing the footage at home. Upon closer inspection, you can see this odd shaped object fly right in front of his drone. He's looked at it dozens of times and still doesn't know what it is. It's long and flat. It was flying upward in the sky and doesn't appear to be a bird or an insect. It even curves around and then heads toward his drone almost like it's checking the drone out. He has jokingly referred to it as Bigfoot's boomerang because it is such a mystery. What do you guys think?
This drone footage is intriguing. I mean, it could be anything, but watch it a few times. It really makes you wonder. This clip shows a great spot for a trail camera. As you can see, a family of deer have come to the watering hole. After they mill around for a little while, they eventually leave. Here comes a beautiful bobcat checking out the trail camera. He's a pretty good size too. The owner of the property and camera says the cat is always on the hunt and he covers a lot of ground on this property. Later that night, a coyote shows up. Great footage from Mississippi. An elk has been killed, and this single mountain lion is in a battle with a pack of coyotes over the carcass. The cat is controlling the kill while the coyotes circle. The lion gives a big hiss, putting the pack on notice. For some reason, both parties leave the kill, but the coyotes are the first to get back to it. One coyote pulls it to the coyote side. Then you can see the lion dragging it back through the snow. As the video shows, after the lion fills its belly, he leaves for the final time, leaving the scraps for the coyotes. One coyote joyfully announces the cat's departure with a loud howl. The owner of the trail camera said the coyotes dragged the carcass to the meadow where he found it the next morning. This next amazing video is from Michael outside in Arizona. While hiking in Arizona, Michael stumbled upon a tiny little rock bed that was retaining water. There weren't any trees, so he quickly fastened his trail camera to this rock. And boy, are we glad he did. We see a vulture as the first visitor. And before we see any other animals, look at the temperature on the camera. Yes, 133, 133 degrees Fahrenheit. Unbelievable. I'm surprised that water isn't steaming. Six days later, only 90 degrees, a smooth 43 degrees cooler than the other day. Anyhow, we see a mama bear and her cub take a visit to the drinking hole. Well, they're going to use it as a pool too. Can't blame them for that. The little cub getting out all wet is adorable. Look at it. As the cub walks away, the look on the mom's face is priceless. Ugh. I know I have to follow him, but I just want to sit here and relax. These little guys show up. One attacks the camera. Then the majestic mountain lion comes for a long drink around noon. Showing up again about eight hours later with what looks to be a younger lion, most likely one of her young. All of these are just phenomenal trail cam captures.
snow leopards are often revered as some of the most beautiful cats in the world. They have adapted to life in the harsh, high-altitude environments. They are solitary ambush predators known for their strong and agile bodies. And they're nothing to shake a stick at. They are capable of killing prey much larger than themselves, mostly due to their powerful jaws and muscular necks. Well, we're going to see all of that and more on display in this next absolutely nutty video. Just as you think they're going to stop, they keep falling. Would you believe it if I told you that the leopards suffer no injuries during this plummet down the icy mountainside? Yeah, me neither. However, this same leopard was spotted 72 hours later, looking to give something else a flying lesson. Just unreal. A video from 2010, taken in Algonquin Provincial Park in Canada. A passerby sees what they suspect is a Bigfoot on the side of the road. Many are calling it a fake. It looks pretty interesting. It's definitely something on two legs. However, that something could be a Sasquatch or someone playing a trick. My two cents is that it would be kind of odd just filming out the window and you accidentally capture a Sasquatch on film. I guess filming out the window really isn't that crazy. But anyhow, let me know in the comments what you all think about this video. This clip is great. I love this little girl's energy. She takes one look at that trail camera and she heads straight for it. If we're talking about fight or flight, this girl is all fight. This little cub reminds me of my youngest daughter. In our family, we joke around she's either going to be a lawyer or need a lawyer. In a recent video from the Voyager's Wolf Project, a rowdy little bear in Minnesota had an adorable run-in with this trail camera. The aggressive cub decided to fight the filming equipment while its mother was seemingly unconcerned about the destruction. Researcher Thomas Gable said he loved it. Quote, I actually laughed out loud when I first saw the footage. I wasn't expecting it at all, and it was hilarious to see the cub getting into mischief. I mean, I rewatched this footage probably four or five times just for fun, thinking to myself, how lucky are we to get this on camera? End quote. Very true. While the camera was temporarily disabled, it wasn't completely destroyed. So they'll still be able to catch plenty of footage. CCTV footage from the back of an apartment complex captured this creepy video. I stumbled upon it and wanted to know what you guys thought about it. As the video plays, two friends are walking and one magically disappears. As we play it again, it looks as if something beamed down and sucked him into thin air. At first I was calling BS, but the way his friend runs away almost makes it look real, genuine. I just don't know. Let me know how you all feel about this video. This is another creepy video taken only a year ago. The scene looks like it takes place in a junkyard or some type of industrial area. 
The video shows a ghostly apparition floating from the left side of your screen. You can see as the dogs get off of their pile of bedding or whatnot and come to investigate. They're barking and howling at the floating object. What could this be? As we zoom in to get a better look, I still can't make out what it is. The dogs are definitely spooked by the floating being. The end of the video is even creepier. What is this thing? This next clip comes from Homesteading Off The Grid, a popular YouTube channel documenting the lifestyle. This guy has tons of trail cameras set up all over his property. In this clip, something freaky's going on. I don't even want to admit how long it took me to actually find the figures in this video. And I'll save you guys the time by highlighting them. The first one sticks his head out from behind the tree on the right of the screen. Definitely seems like a person or some type of creature. He's a black figure that peeks his head out and looks around for a minute, then pulls it back. This next part shows the dark object on the bottom left of your screen get pulled out of view. Watch that again. And again, we see the creature behind the tree on the right. Look, I don't know what's going on here. Does anyone else recognize these creatures? If this video is real, it's very intriguing. What could they be? I feel like it would be kind of strange for a cryptid to be out in the middle of the day. But let me know your thoughts. This next video displays some awesome trail camera footage taken out of New Hampshire. A turkey's hanging around a little clearing here and gets a tower buzzed by a hawk. Maybe the hawk was just saying hi. He definitely can't lift that turkey up. We see a beautiful coyote by a watering hole. And as the screen transitions, we see a very angry mama duck. And she charges at the red-shouldered hawk, who seems unfazed. Unfortunately, the reason the duck is so angry is that out of screen, the hawk swooped down and swiped a duckling. Here we see a bobcat slink by another camera on the property with a light squirrel dinner. This next part is pretty cool. As the camera zooms in, you can see a coyote in the background. As a young buck comes into view, he's spooked. As we fast forward to the winter months, we can see some deer running, and then soon after, we see why. Possibly the same deer and the same coyote from the last clip. We see here, we see the deer stomping its hooves, swishing its tail and snorting. A telltale warning sign to the predator, as well as the other deer that are with her. As the deer retreat, we see the two coyotes. Man, just phenomenal footage from a great piece of property. This next story is a heartwarming change of pace. Isabel Spriggett heard an awful noise coming from the woods behind her house. When she and her dog Kate went to check it out, they found an abandoned baby fawn. 
Isabel is a wildlife photographer and had actually photographed this deer a few days ago. She knew to leave the fawn where it was and was sure to keep her Great Dane Kate away from it as well. However, the nearly unbearable noise went on for three solid days and Kate, the Great Dane, couldn't take it any longer. She was begging her mom to let her go check it out. So they did. When the pair entered the woods, they found the fawn in the same place it was three days ago, and it seemed that the mother had really abandoned it. This time, they picked her up and took her inside and laid her on the dog's bed. And well, the rest is history. Kate took an immediate liking to the fawn, and from the minute she met her, she adopted the role as mother. The fawn, who they affectionately named Pippin, would suckle on Kate trying to get milk, even though she couldn't produce any. Sadly, Isabel said it was only a few weeks before baby Pippin wanted to venture back into the woods, and they didn't stand in her way. Pippin would spend the night in the woods, but would visit every single day. And Kate would even disappear for hours playing with the deer in the woods. And the next day, they would do it all over again. This is just an adorable, heartwarming story. It's cute how they nuzzle and neck hug each other. Just something we all need, an awesome friendship. This video is pretty impressive. A red tail hawk versus a crow. As we watch it again, you can tell the crow sees the hawk coming in at the last second, but just can't get out of the way quick enough. A pretty interesting tidbit from an expert. He said that red-tailed hawks will shy away from corvids because of how smart they are. Corvids employ several strategies to deter hawks, such as mobbing. And generally only as a last resort will a red-tailed hawk try to dive bomb a corvid like this. So he was either really hungry or saw the perfect time to strike. Ryan Twellman, a game warden from Franklin County, was summoned to a farm following a report from a landowner about two white-tailed deer whose antlers were stuck together. Upon arriving at the site, Twellman located the two bucks in the same condition as reported. Unfortunately, one of the bucks had already passed away while the other was still alive. Using a shotgun and a slug round, Warden Twellman was able to detach the antlers and release the surviving deer which ultimately ran away unscathed. The warden gave the landowner a salvage tag for the deceased deer. According to the comments on Facebook, this type of incident is not uncommon. One commenter wrote that they had also come across a similar situation over the weekend, but sadly, both bucks had already died and had likely been that way for over a week. Good work by the landowner and Warden Twellman. A hunter is stunned when he hears these screams coming from the woods. Look, even though I'd have my rifle, I have to admit that I'd be pretty freaked out. It sounds like someone is getting murdered. But many have said that these sounds are coming from a mountain lion. Let's hear it again. Just a wretched sound. Anyhow, tell me what you guys think. While going through his footage, the owner of this trail camera has noticed something unusual. Along the tree line, there is a shadow that is barely visible in the night recordings. However, as the camera continues to record in the morning, 
the shadow becomes more distinct, revealing a large, brown, furry figure. The creature seems to be either hiding or sleeping. You can see their movement, so it is definitely alive. Speculations have arisen that this sighting may be of the elusive Bigfoot. However, a question that puzzles many is why the deer in the area didn't sense the creature's presence and become alarmed. The footage has captured the attention of many, and they're intrigued by the possibility of the existence of such creatures. Nonetheless, the footage serves as a reminder of the mysteries that still exist in the natural world and the importance of continuing to explore and learn about our environment. As you can see, a small, seemingly naked figure with a weird body is seen walking through here. Suddenly, the figure darts forward as if it knew it was being recorded. The footage then shows a ladder being pulled out from the camera's view as the creature runs out of the house. Many viewers found it funny with comments suggesting even aliens need jobs. However, I'm not real sure of the authenticity of this. Was this recording real or a hoax? Jake DeMarco, a father of two from Australia, was horrified when he saw his security footage capturing what appeared to be a ghostly dog running around with his pet dog, Ryder. The strangest part of all of this is that the backyard is fully secured with an eight foot high fence and no way any other dog could get inside. When Jake caught it on camera, he sprinted out to the backyard to investigate, but the mysterious white dog had vanished without a trace. The eerie footage obviously left him spooked. He couldn't explain how the dog managed to enter his fully secured backyard. Despite all his efforts to uncover the truth behind the ghostly sighting, the mystery remains unsolved. Now, there are a few different reasons people might install a camera near a bird feeder. Some like to observe and learn about bird behavior, so installing a camera near a bird feeder can allow people to observe and learn about the different species of birds that visit that feeder. Some like to capture photographs or videos of birds. And lastly, you might install a camera to deter unwanted animals. By monitoring the feeder with a camera, people can intervene if they see an animal trying to get at the bird seed. Well, the owner of this camera had no way of seeing this coming. As we see in the video, the hawk snatches the bird off the feeder. It was like a lightning strike. You can barely see it. As we play it again in slow-mo, look at how the hawk maneuvers through that tree. I mean, it's unbelievable. It looks normal in slow-mo, but when you play it full speed, you can almost barely notice that he has to make that move. Unbelievable. And I love the little bird that's just hanging out hiding behind the feeder, like, thank God I didn't get attacked. This next video is from Jimmy B Trail Cams. Jimmy B captures all sorts of animals on his channel. Coyote, deer, owl, his cats, someone else's cats. He has a great property with multiple cameras. So when Jimmy caught this figure walking through his property, he was a little surprised, you could say.
Man, I tell you, I don't know if it's Bigfoot, but it's definitely something sketchy. I'll let you guys be the judge. What do we have here? I'm going to just let this video play as they narrate it for us. <laughs> he's so little. What do you think he's doing in there? He's a fat little guy. Hey. Oh. Hey, friend. Good morning. Kind of chilling. No, no, yeah, no he's, he's going to bite you. <laughs> he's so soft. Oh. <laughs> All right, we should bring him home. All right, fine, we'll take him. He's cold. Can you bring him back to New Zealand? I'll bring him home. Bring him home. Oh fuck, it's so cute. <laughs> oh fuck, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, fuck, I cry. I cry every time I see the bison. Go, oh, go, yeah, are you? Oh, he's ripping. Watch how hawk just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, imagine. <laughs> Can imagine dragging a rope through the freaking. Oh no! This is just an incredible thing to capture on camera. An incredible supernatural story here coming out of Canton, Georgia. After losing her son to an accidental drug overdose, Jennifer Hodge was watching TV with her daughter one night when she got a notification that her entryway camera had picked someone up. Here's what it showed. Jennifer is adamant that her son is the figure on the camera. A paranormal investigator was brought in and was in agreement with Hodge. There is a figure in the home that is very visible. To be 100% positive, the investigator said she would have to do an in-home assessment. I definitely have to admit, I mean, I see someone in the video. Anyhow, let me know if you guys have any experience with something like this. I find this stuff fascinating. A full-grown gaur, also known as an Indian bison, can reach 2,500 pounds and stand over 6 feet tall at the shoulder. Their powerful legs and necks are capable of generating a tremendous amount of force. The term gower is used more broadly to refer to the entire genus of wild cattle. Well, I'd say the guy in this video is pretty wild. As the police show up, you can see this guy, he's not having any of it. Just insane strength. Let's watch it again. I mean, that's just crazy. This video, taken in Florida, shows a raccoon attempting to subdue an iguana. Raccoons are omnivorous and opportunistic feeders who eat a variety of foods, including some small lizards and snakes. But this guy has his opposable thumbs full here. That's a big iguana. This type of iguana is an invasive species, not native to Florida, and can wreak havoc on the eggs and young of other native animals. The video went on for some time. The raccoon was unable to gain control of the iguana, who, the owner says, just continued sunbathing near the pool. Honestly, I'd say the owner has a bigger issue on his hands with an iguana and a raccoon hanging out in the daylight in his backyard. He might need to call someone. 
nevertheless crazy thing to capture on camera. This next photo, down a dark, winding rabbit hole, I found this picture of a supposed ape-like Bigfoot. As we can all tell, this is the backside of the creature. And before I dive too deep into this one, I just it doesn't seem real to me. It's almost like a stuffed animal placed in front of the camera. I just don't know. I hate to say someone's picture isn't real, so I'm interested in what you guys think. The legs look kind of real, but I've never seen a tail like that. It looks like the tail of a giant squirrel. Again, let me know in the comments what you think of this capture. I'm leaning towards a hoax. A hunter in Pennsylvania walked up on this young buck in the woods, and yes, I mean walked up on. I think the man was more shocked than the deer was. As he approached, the deer did nothing at all. He was seemingly frozen. In the video, you can see the animal turning his head. After a little while, the hunter clanked his antlers with the arrow, he snapped out of it and took off. As we watch it again, it is likely the deer is using a common defense mechanism known as freezing. This is used by many animals when they perceive a threat or danger. This behavior, also known as tonic immobility, involves the animal becoming motionless and appearing to be frozen in place, often for an extended period of time. Freezing behavior can serve a number of functions for different animals. For example, some animals may freeze as a way to blend in with their surroundings and avoid detection by predators. By remaining still and silent, they may be less likely to be noticed and targeted. This is particularly common in prey animals, such as rabbits, deer, and birds, that are often hunted by predators. Nevertheless, this is just an unbelievable instance to capture on camera and just be a part of. In August 2021, a 15-year-old mountain biker shared footage of a hair-raising encounter with a sizable black bear while filming his biking skills. 
The incident began with the boy emerging from the woods on his bicycle and passing through the camera. Moments later, he nervously called out to someone before reappearing on screen, repeatedly looking back over his shoulder. Suddenly, a large black bear appeared, heading towards the boy. Quick thinking, the rider used his bicycle to make himself appear larger and shouted, which was enough to actually scare off the bear. Instead of attacking the boy, the bear took his interest to the camera, before eventually wandering away, leaving the rider unharmed, luckily. Another awesome trail cam clip here from Bobby Wilmer Photography. This gator here is enjoying an armor-plated catfish. Just crunch right down on that thing. Here we have some wild hogs. I bet the gator from the last clip would like to get a hold of one of these guys. This photo shows an image captured by a trail camera. It shows what some believe to be an adult and juvenile Sasquatch. While scientists are not convinced of the existence of these creatures, many amateur researchers continue to claim their existence and believe they are getting closer to proving it with photographs like this. Reports of sightings of these creatures have been made for years some dating back to early Native American legends that spoke of the sharp chains. The area where this picture was taken, around Mount Shasta, is considered to be a hot spot of supernatural activity. There are strange sightings of hovering objects, mysterious lights and Sasquatch-like monsters. Reports of sightings of large humanoids have also been made in the area. Let me know what you think of this photo. This is just a hilarious trail cam capture. After a kid kept telling his father that he was seeing a bear next door, the father obviously didn't believe him, he decided to rig up one of his old trail cams. And wouldn't you know it. As we can see, this huge bear has made a home in a crawl space of an abandoned home. Speaking of bears, while this home isn't abandoned, this guy's hanging out and about to have a little fun. Speak to it? No, I didn't speak to it. It's a black bear. They're bad bears. 
They're, they can be mean. It, it's, it just knocked my jacuzzi top over. And now it just got in my jacuzzi. Okay, I'm... No, it did not. Yes, it's getting warm. It's just having a blast. Yep, he's just making himself right at home in this jacuzzi. Someone bring this man a drink. The white-tailed deer is easily the most captured animal on all trail cams combined. Everyone knows them, they're the standard deer, so to speak, brown with a white tail. So it's not every day we're lucky enough to see a piebald deer. Piebald deer are not a separate species or subspecies of deer, but rather a genetic variation that can occur in several different species of deer, including white-tailed deer, mule deer, and elk. Piebald deer are relatively rare, with estimates suggesting that only about 1% of the deer population exhibits this coloration. People often ask about hunting. Piebald deer can be legally hunted in many areas where hunting is permitted, just like other deer with normal coloring. However, some hunters may choose not to hunt piebald deer because they are considered to be a rare and unique variation of the species. In some areas, piebald deer may be protected by law or hunting regulations. For example, in some states in the U.S., it is illegal to hunt deer with more than a certain percentage of white coloring. Obviously, that could include piebald deer. Anyhow, just an amazing camera capture. And it's crazy how their eyes can be sometimes black. Let me know if you've seen any of these around your area. Here we have just a great video of two brown bears slugging it out in Romania. brown bears are a protected species and hunting them is strictly regulated. This particular video has been around forever and it shows a supposed Florida skunk ape moving quickly through the high grass of the Everglades. I've never heard a good explanation of what this was. The skunk ape is a creature said to inhabit swamps, forests, and other wilderness areas, primarily in the southeastern United States and particularly in Florida. The skunk ape is described as being a large, hairy, bipedal creature that stands between 6 and 8 feet tall and weighs up to 400 pounds. It is said to have reddish or brownish fur, a distinct odor, hence the name skunk ape, and many, many people suggest that it is related to the Bigfoot of the Pacific Northwest. Let me know in the comments if you have more info about this video, or skunk apes in general. In this video clip captured by a trail camera, a six-point Oregon bull elk has fallen into a wallow, and he can't get out. As the footage shows, the elk is attempting to free itself from the sticky situation, but he's just too big and heavy to do it alone. Recognizing the need for assistance, the elk began bugling loudly in an effort to attract rescuers. Finally, his calls were heard, and a team of people came to help and they were able to free him. Just a great story.
This next video is just incredible. On what was a regular day, a woman just walking her dog, her female boxer, when the pup suddenly starts to act strange. She veers off the path, finds a grassy spot, lays down, passes out and loses consciousness. The poor woman is trying to help her dog. She's wailing. A good Samaritan is walking by, notices the commotion and takes control. What the heck? She's not breathing at all. Try to calm yourself. As you can see in the video, the man is doing everything he can. He's giving chest compressions. He tries to clear her airways and even gives her mouth to mouth. And lo and behold, he is able to resuscitate the dog. Unbelievable. What a guy. The lady is obviously filled with emotion. She's crying. What a great story. On a scorching summer day in the UK, Meg and Jeff take all three of their Hungarian Vizlas for a hike, oblivious to what lay ahead. We were walking along, just having a chat like we normally do, and then we noticed that the dogs were not moving. The couple walks closely behind their dogs, but suddenly the dogs halt in their tracks, not focusing on anything in particular. It looks like they're frozen in time, but as you can see by the camera footage, the leaves around them are moving, but the dogs remain motionless. And all the bushes, but the dogs were completely still. I'm not sure what's going on here, but one of the dogs can be seen frozen mid stride in the background. What do you guys think is going on here? In May of 2021, Yowie researcher Dean Harrison and his team from Australia are testing out infrared cameras at Springbrook National Park. Later that night, they capture this mysterious footage. The thermal imaging seems to capture a large, singular being hiding behind a tree trunk. Minutes later, there appears to be a couple creatures. One even bends over to pick something up. And if you look at its head, it doesn't look human. And on top of all this, the team said no humans would ever be where they are at this time of day, let alone at night. Bigfoot researchers are adamant that all of this aligns with what has already been proven. Dating all the way back to the Aborigines caves, their prevalence in their storytelling and cave drawings proves they're real. And even when the settlers came in the late 1700s, they too had experiences with the Yowie. What are your thoughts on this strange occurrence? Let me know in the comments, I'm interested. I'm going to let this video play because I want you guys to hear the noises these koalas are making. Koalas are generally solitary animals and do not actively seek out confrontations with others of their kind. However, they may fight over resources such as food, territory, mating partners, the normal stuff. Male koalas are known to be particularly territorial and may engage in physical fights with other males to establish dominance and protect their territory. And of course we all know during the breeding season, most males will likely compete for access to females, and fights may break out between the males as a result. Nevertheless, just a cool camera capture. Typically, eagles tend to hunt smaller animals, but the tables have turned today as a massive eagle takes flight, aiming to capture this fleeing fox. 
The fox is booking it, trying to get away. But the eagle's just too fast and too powerful. Despite the fox's struggle, the eagle emerges victorious in the end. A harsh reminder of the brutality of the animal kingdom and the survival of the fittest.